Hey everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every other week vlog. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about my top five pet peeves I've had about beds without headboards. So when I was a kid, I used to have like a chest bed at my dad's old house. Um, he doesn't have it anymore because he moved out of state and um, he gave it actually to a friend of his his and she uses it as a guest pet bed at her house and so um that bed did not have a headboard on it but I, on it and it kind of like drove me crazy sometimes when I didn't have a headboard on my bed because I like having headboards on my bed head and footboards on my bed because then I know nothing's gonna fall off of my bed so I'll show you guys my bed my bed actually does have a head and footboard on it so here's my bed right here is my headboard and then I don't see think you can see right here but here's the footboard of my bed so I know some people don't really really like having head, beds with headboards because some people may feel like they're too small and um, some people don't mind having beds with headboards because they think they're more comfortable I personally think they're more comfortable I've had a bed pretty much almost my whole my life with a headboard and I really like them better than having beds without headboards in my opinion and I used to like I said I used to have a bed that didn't have a headboard and my futon that I slept on for a really long time sort of had a headboard but it didn't really so I'm going to talk about all my pet peeves about beds with headboards Boards and I'm going to get started and, and, and this doesn't mean I hate beds that don't have headboards um, I just have a couple ups and downs with them. I did used to ha I used to have a bed without a headboard My bed was a chest bed Bed and it was at my dad's house. Um, I don't have it anymore because I don't go over to my dad's house anymore My dad lives out of state and plus he gave it to one of his friends after my brother and I stopped going over there So my brother also had a bed without a headboard too too and I do I just don't I'm not a huge fan of them just because I have a little issues with them and I'm gonna explain about it but this does but just a disclaimer if you guys have a bed that doesn't have a headboard and you find you like them and find them comfortable that's okay I mean it's just these are just my personal pet peeves I have with beds that don't have headboards so I'm gonna get started so number one on my list would have to be my blanket falling off this was kind of a hard thing for me when I had my chest bed and it didn't have a headboard and my blanket would sometimes fall off of my bed even if I try and make it and it wouldn't stay on and it was just so incredibly hard for me to keep the blanket on my bed because it would keep sliding off for some weird reason I'm not sure if it was because I wasn't making my bed I was too lazy to make my bed at the time or maybe I just was having a difficult time making my bed my bed just because I didn't know how to put the blanket, make the bed without the headboard. It just made it very, very difficult because I felt like the blanket was just constantly falling off. Number two on my list had to be my pillow falling off. So when I was a kid, um, I had, like I said, I had chest beds. Um, my brother and I both had beds at our dad's house. They were all chest beds. And the chest bed did not have a headboard. So my pillow was always falling off my bed bed and I had to keep picking it up at night and it was super duper annoying and I really did not like picking up my headboard and I mean my pillow from off the floor waking up so much to pick up my pillow from off the floor because my bed wasn't close to the wall it was like I think three inches from the wall it was three inches from the walls wall which made my pillow keep falling off my bed which is so annoying and I really hated that my pillow was constantly falling off my bed my bed because I had to keep waking up to get it off the floor. Number three on my list after my stuffed animals falling off. Now this happened quite a lot because I would put my stuffed animals um, on my uh, bed at night when I'd be sleeping in my chest bed at my dad's house. Um, my stuffed animals would be constantly falling off. Sometimes when I had a stuffed animal I was in that was in my bed, I would constantly be waking up to look for that stuffed animal that fell off my bed and it was so incredibly annoying. Annoying, but it was a pretty comfortable bed. Well, bed, and I really liked that bed. I just didn't like the fact that I didn't have a headboard, or because I had I lost um. So a lot of my stuff was like um, constantly falling off. Number two, number four on my list had to be my mattress sinking into my bed. Now this was a problem I had 
with my kneecap, like at my dad's house, um, when I was having issues with my kneecap, this was before he found out I had cancer. I was sleeping in my bed, but then my mattress was so spongy, it would sink into the bed frame and my, and it would be going against my knee and it would really, really hurt my knee because at that time I had time, this is before we found out we thought I had cancer and it was hurting quite a lot. And I slept on the floor at my dad's house because that spongy mattress was causing my knee so much pain, but pain. And I'll make another video about that, telling the story of how I made myself sleep on the floor at my dad's house because my knee was hurting, hurting, and I didn't tell my dad. And I'm gonna make a separate video of that. And so the mattress was very spongy and it would sink in, and sometimes it would sink in right into the to the um, bed, which kind of made it a little bit hard for me to sleep because the mattress was just so squishy. Fishy, and it was like hard to sleep on because it was a spongy mattress. Number five on my list would have to be almost falling out of my bed. This was one thing that would scare me about my bed not having a headboard is like headboard or a footboard. I um, was worried about falling out of my bed because sometimes when I go to wake up to grab my pillow, I'd have to reach because my bed would be, I think like four or five inches from the wall. I have to go pick up my... Um, pillow and stuff and anytime I go to reach for my pillow I would just like worried about falling out of my bed I would almost fall out of my bed but but it's okay I mean it's like it the only reason I think we didn't have it close to the wall wall because I think we just didn't my dad just didn't want me and me and my brother to hit our heads in the wall and so some so we had like our beds like a couple of inches from like the windows and stuff like I used to have a really small room at my um Excuse me one second. Sorry about that. So I used to have a small room at my dad's house and my bed would be like four inches from like the window section. It was like a glass door. It was a sliding door and it went out to my dad's back deck and I had my bed not so close to the wall because, um, because so I wouldn't hit my head on the glass door door when I was little and it would be a few inches from there but the only thing the thing that annoyed me is like sometimes I'd have to wake up to get my pillow um pillow because my pillow would be falling off my bed constantly because my bed didn't have a headboard at the time the time like I said it was a chest bed with no headboard and I sometimes have to wake up so much just to get my pillow well from off my bed I mean from on, onto my bed. I'd have to wake up quite a lot just to grab my pillow from off the floor because it would be falling off my bed constantly. And then sometimes when I'd go and reach for my pillow, when it'd be far away, I'd almost fall out of bed. And bed, like sometimes I'd toss and turn and I would almost fall out of bed. But that was just, we'd be just by accident because um, the despite the back of the bed was so big, I'd constantly be tossing and turning because the mattress was very squishy. But it up, but sometimes it happens. So those are my top five pet peeves about beds that didn't have headboards. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week. Well, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye.